Hi there, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to embellish your acrylic art by adding a raised stencil to it using Liquitex Gloss Gel. Instead of doing an acrylic pour today, I'm just going to paint the canvas uh, using Artist Love Paints to create a background. I'm using Deep Magenta, Light Magenta, and titanium white that I've blended to create different shades of magenta. So something that's quite useful when you're trying to blend your acrylic paint is to very lightly spray the canvas with some water every now and again to help keep the paint from drying too quickly as you're busy trying to blend the paint. I just use this little bottle for that. To prepare to do the stencil, I've laid down some Liquitex Gloss Gel and to that I'm adding some white paint. I'm not mixing these in you know, any particular ratio. You can see roughly how much paint I have in relation to the gel here. Keep in mind that even though they both look white, the gel actually dries clear so it's important to mix the paint in well. If you're going to try the stenciling technique that I'm showing you today, when you're choosing your stencil, just keep in mind that the more fine and detailed the stencil is, like this one, the more challenging it tends to be to get a perfect result. So I personally find it easier to work with ones that have less detail and larger, more well-defined shapes, like this one. So I've let the canvas dry for a few days and I've secured the stencil to the canvas using painter's tape and I'm just adding a few little bottles on top to ensure that there aren't any gaps between the stencil and the canvas otherwise the gel could go underneath the stencil and then you know you won't end up with a, a neat looking end result. What I'm applying now is a layer of the Liquitex Gloss Gel by itself. So this isn't what you saw me mixing earlier, this is just the Gloss Gel by itself. And the reason I like to lay this down first is because it dries clear, so you know, if you accidentally get some underneath the stencil, it won't really be you know, too noticeable. On top of that, I'm applying the mixture of white paint and gloss gel that you saw me mixing earlier. Okay, so let's see how it turns out. Well, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like to see more acrylic art related tutorials, 
Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.